Hello and welcome to my tech farm. My name is Igor and uh, in this video I'm doing this very big experiment where I want to see is there any difference between PLA and PLA. I have here 14 different brands and uh, I did very big homework before this because I created, uh, I started several polls on different Facebook groups. So for example, uh, 3DQF is here thanks to the UK uh, votes, uh, Hedgebox Overture is here thanks to the US uh, Facebook group. And these are all my filaments, I bought them except the Azure film, this is sent to me for the review, but it doesn't make any difference. I will do the same experiment with them. Uh, what will I test? Well, first I want to rate the spool to see what, are in, what informations we have here. Are there any holes for the filament uh, guide and um, what have in other informations we have there? And then I want to test the, the printing. I want to test the overhang, bridging, and the stringing properties out of the box. On what temperature? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably I will search for one uh, temperature which is common for all brands because all they have the range to uh, print with. But I think 210 degrees Celsius, I will see, is uh, a common spot which uh, can be printed on, on each. And, and of course every uh, filament will be printed uh, using the same G-Cont and the same 3D printer. And I'm sure there are other uh, very popular filaments out there, but uh, I cannot test them all. Uh, in this video I have these 14 brands, uh, but um, each properties I will upload to my website so you can compare, uh, for example, overhang properties for each filament or maybe you want to see all, all properties for the uh, hedge box, for example. And uh, with this I can add new uh, new filament types, new filament brands, if anybody wants to send me the filament to, to test it. I would be very sad if, if this big work uh, will have only one or two thousand views, like my, I don't know, ten last videos. So I really uh, ask you for help to, if you find this uh, video useful, please share it if you have possibilities in you know, Facebook groups or different uh, social network. So it will be very big help for me. Okay, long video, but uh, I don't run ads during the video. Uh, so I really appreciate this help. Okay, thank you for that. And now uh, let's start with the unboxing. Hedge box, nice packaging, it's completely in vacuum, I can feel, and there is some uh, silica gel inside. But I cannot, I cannot reuse this bag. This is what can we see on the spool. Printing temperatures 180 and 210 degrees Celsius. Interesting, it is very popular from in the US. I ordered it from US and, and uh, it cost me double the price because in, in Europe I cannot buy Hedgebox filament. But it is so popular in US that, that I decided that uh, I will pay that price. And interesting, there are no in Fahrenheit, everything is in Celsius. The tolerance is plus minus 0 0.03. Okay, so Hedgebox. Next, Prus cement. Next is Prus Apile and what I like that, that they have this also uh, a vacuum bag. And we have a lot of holes here on the spool to place the filament there. And if I cut it on this line, then I can place it back and I can close this bag. So when it's not in use, I can put it uh, back and add this silica gel, which is included. After. And then I can close it to prevent it to absorb moisture from the environment, from the air. So very nice spool, a lot of holes here to uh, place the filament when it's not in use, the end of the filament. And we have some basic informations here, printing temperature is 215 plus minus 10 degrees Celsius. Next one. BQ EasyGo PLA filament made in Europe in Spain. Uh, 
Okay, not much information on the spool. There is a silica gel inside. And I will not use this one. I will use this one instead because uh, it's the same material, only I already uh, unboxed uh, this one. And uh, unfortunately, except this sticker, no else information. They are printing temperature 205 degrees Celsius. That's all I have here. And from here, I, I know that at least this is the BQ brand. Game Beard. We, are with, we also have some information, useful information on the box. This is a very popular brand here in Hungary. It's vacuum pack, there is some silica gel inside. Unfortunately, the rolling is not so nice. And uh, we have here the sticker with some basic information. But unfortunately, no information about the printing temperature. So that you have to, I know it's, it's, it's on this box, but uh, usually I, I don't keep the box, I drop it. So it would be good to have the information here on the spool itself. Uh, I will not use this one because I already have an uh, open spool. So I will use that one for the game build testing. So for game build, I will use uh, this color because it's it's already opened. And here is the sticker. And we have holes for the filament only here. Uh, we can see how many filaments we have, but there is no scale on it. And also we have some holes for the filament holder on the other side. As your film. Nice vacuum packaging. There is some silica gel inside. Very interesting uh, spool design. So we here have here the printing temperature uh, 190 and 210 degrees Celsius. So this information we have here on this sticker. Over tour, especially for US visitors. <laughs> This also cannot be bought here in, in Hungary and it also cost me at least double the original price. Hmm, interesting. So this is a spool. Here I have this uh, printing bed surface. And there is some ruler here. Okay, a lot of information on the spool, printing temperature between 190 and 210 degrees Celsius. So these informations we have here on the spool. And uh, what I really like that uh, we have this scale here. So approximately I know how many filaments I have. So there is a, it's in, in meters, so from 70 to 280 meters and we have it on, on two places. Ah, this one is in grams, so here you can see the weight and this is the length of the filament. So, very big plus for overture filament because of this information. Rolling is not too nice, but... Uh, and here we have holes for the end of the filament and on the other side. G-Tech. Hmm. Plus a bag which can be closed, was included, because this is also not reusable. When I take it out from this vacuum packaging, then I cannot place it back here, but uh, they send me a new bag. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, there is some <laughs> silica gel, very small, but yes, it's included. So this is the information on one side and this is the information on the other side. There is some sticker here. But uh, no information about the printing temperature. Okay, so uh, that looks like I have to check on the website. Is there on a bag? 
no informations on the box neither so uh, for GTEC I have to check uh, the temperatures on the website half seven Isan some informations about their other products a lot of useful informations on the box also and all those informations are included in the spool only I want to unbox it and uh, again this is not reusable but nice vacuum packaging and also we have a silica gel inside uh, and this one is silica fortunately I couldn't buy it uh, in regular color there is the information on the sticker and also a lot of informations here on the other side so printing temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. Polymaker. This pool I already opened earlier, so I don't really remember what was its packaging. Uh, but here you can see the spool. And again, very nice, useful information is this scale here. So I know how many filament I have on the spool approximately. Now this is uh, Polyplus, but now it is of, uh, called uh, Polylite. Uh, this is uh, this is their basic PLA filament. So this is what I have. So that's why I use this one. As a printing temperature between 195 and 230 degrees Celsius. It's a little bit hard to see, but I hope it will be visible on the screen too. Next, Tech Bears. This one is here, but it is, it is one of the best buy on Amazon. We have a, a table of different pil, uh, filaments on the back side of the box, but uh, as I mentioned, I never keep the box. And unfortunately, I cannot see those informations on the spool. Vacuum pack, silica gel inside. Science, not even that I can find on the spool that, that, that what brand is this, I have to write on it. <laughs> because uh, I will lost, I will forget uh, what is the brand of this filament. Not even the brand is on this spool, so I'm really disappointed with this one. And now I notice that this is Silk PLA Plus, because uh, this is not my order, I, I wanted the regular PLA, because uh, I want to test the basic PLA material for, from each brand. I don't know, never mind, I will include it because this is all I have. Amazon Basics. <laughs> Interesting, some manual for filament. Okay. Ah, nice bag included so I can place it uh, back and close it when I uh, don't use it packaging is not vacuum there is a silica gel inside it's a little bit hard to see but it's there and on this side we have some basic informations Printing temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. And uh, hmm, I, what I really don't like, it looks like very similar spool uh, like with the tech bear. Only two holes here, no holes on the other side. And also only two holes here. Sanlu. Here also we have some uh, table what temperature to use it's vacuum packed and we have a silica gel inside and it's not reusable hmm. again same similar spool where we don't have any holes for the end of the filament only here two on this side up and same on the other side <laughs> and, and look at this there, there is Almost no information on the spool. Mm. 
not even which brand is this so I have to write on it otherwise I will forget Sanlu I mean I don't understand why they don't put their their logo on on filament if they are not proud of their product 3d QF especially for UK viewers Uh, vacuum packaging, but not too strong, I think, and not reusable. And look at this, it's cardboard, so good for environment. And uh, this, there is some kind of scale, but uh, I know only I know that uh, when it is fully loaded or, or where is it approximately. Uh, no other information about the printing temperature or similar. And uh, but big plus for for the environment friendly spool. I'm just checking, but no no informations uh, on this uh, sticker about the printing temperatures. Never mind. I will check on the website, and uh, maybe you can see it here if I don't forget to add it. And I think the last one. C D E E, made in E U. It's an uh, Austrian brand. I'm not sure is it uh, manufactured in Austria. Nice packaging, but it's not reusable foil and there, there is a silica gel inside. Hmm, and I cannot take it out, it's, it's inside. That's fine. Okay, information on the spool, printing temperature 205 degrees Celsius plus minus 10 degrees. On oh, the other side, nothing. And let's see, hmm, no, not much. Only three holes for the end of the filament. Same here. Ah, here we have two. <laughs> Interesting, but here only one. Well, that was the unboxing. So here you can see now the table where I rate the content or, and the looks of these uh, spools. First point I gave if there is a brand on the spool. For recommended printing temperatures on the spool, another one point. If there is a hole or transparent spool, uh, where we can see how many filaments in, uh, on the spool, that's uh, 0 0.5 points and if there are units too, then additional 0.5 points. When filament is not in use, holes for filament ends are very important to avoid jams during the printing. For three holes or pair of holes, I give 0.5 points. For more than three uh, holes, I give uh, one point. And if the packaging bag is reusable, this means uh, I can close it again, uh, I give uh, one point. And uh, if packaging was vacuumed, that's 0 0.5 point additional. And don't forget these ratings are not standard. These are just my personal opinions. Uh, but I found that these properties are important for me, for example. And now I'm preparing the filaments for the storage until they get into part two. Vacuum packaging. PLA is not sensitive to the moisture, but uh, just in case to have the same condition for each filament because this will be a long test and who knows where will I print it. And uh, just in case I placed every filament in this uh, bag with some silica gel inside to get the same conditions after unboxing. And this is end of part one. The next part will be the printing test and I will print a temperature tower where I can see the overhang, bridging and stringing properties. And I hope you will follow me to that video too. Until that, happy printing!